The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello YouTube, this is just a little quick summary. These clips and videos don't, the clips don't go with the video. The video didn't come with any clips, but um, y'all can listen to it and you can see the graphs that I did get and find. <clears throat> and my, my suggestion to y'all still stands. Get out of there if y'all can. Fastly. Real fast. So much love to y'all and uh, check out the audio, okay? And the clips, of course. So much love. Have a great day. This is one of the helicopter traces that are on the internet, so everybody can look at them. The blue lines at the top with a lot of up and down lines, that is what's called a seismic burst. This occurred on the 13th of March. This was observed and monitored real time. We were in working with Dr. Horton of Siri and Dr. Pettit of Atasca. We were online, we're watching this. So as these things occur, we can tap into the seismic experts and get their opinions so when we change the alert levels, we can relay that to the parish. The analysis is shown on the, on the right side and Dr. Horton and Pettit can distill a lot of information down to fairly simple histograms and such that everybody can look at and you can see how the seismic events increased dramatically on the 13th of March this year. That's when we went into what we call a code three or maximum state of alert. <clears throat> Uh, thank you, Secretary Schutz and Mr. Chairman. Today I'm going to give a brief summary of the Bayou Corn sinkhole, the gas in the Mississippi River alluvial aquifer, and the stability of the western side of the salt dome, including Oxy-1. Uh, the sinkhole it continues to expand. Uh, it expanded some more uh, over the weekend. This is the last uh, survey we had. It covers 12 acres of sinkhole with a settlement area of approximately 20 acres and you can see how it aligns along the edge of the salt the the red line is the edge of the salt and you can see it's expanding in the northeast southwest direction sub parallel to the edge of the salt next uh, sunday's gas event uh, showed settlement and gas bubbles on the western side of the sinkhole we monitored that all weekend but the, the burp event that you heard about, most of the activity with regard to settlement was on the west side of the sinkhole. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Secretary Schutz and Mr. Chairman. Today I'm going to give a brief summary of the Bayou Corn sinkhole, the gas in the Mississippi River alluvial aquifer, and the stability of the western side of the salt dome, including Oxy-1. Uh, the sinkhole it continues to expand. Uh, it expanded some more uh, over the weekend. This is the last uh, survey we had. It covers 12 acres of sinkhole with a settlement area of approximately 20 acres. And you can see how it aligns along the edge of the salt. The, the red line is the edge of the salt. And you can see it's expanding in the northeast southwest direction, sub parallel to the edge of the salt. Next. Uh, Sunday's gas event uh, showed settlement and gas bubbles on the western side of the sinkhole. We monitored that all weekend, but the, the burp event that you heard about, most of the activity with regard to settlement was on the west side of the sinkhole. 